I just hung up an old photo of mine that I went to go collect at my folks place. It's been in storage there for the last uh, 2019. It's been in storage for a very long time. And I just thought I've got some empty spaces on my walls. I'm gonna go get a few prints and hang them up. When I was in college, we were required to print and frame a few images just so that we can exhibit it at our end of year college function. Maybe sell one or two even if we're lucky. When I was at the exhibition, a guy actually did approach me and asked me if he could buy one of me. I was really stunned. I, I didn't know that was ever gonna happen. But he said to me that he really, really loved the print and, and, and its size, you know, it was it was about an A2 size print. He could see it hanging up on his wall at home in his lounge. He really, really loved it. If he saw that on a computer screen, I'm sure he wouldn't have th felt the same way about it. Maybe, maybe not, who knows? As soon as your print's not in its digital format anymore and it's actually on a piece of paper mounted behind UV glass with a nice wooden frame, it becomes something tangible. It becomes something of value. That's so important. I mean, it, it just looks cool to have your own print. Then it got me thinking again. I've been doing this for about a decade now and I've always, after a shoot, bought a new hard drive and stored everything on the new hard drive. It was a pain, especially if a hard drive were to fail, I'd lose all that work. And it's happened to me before. I'm sure it's happened to many of you before as well. I decided to invest in a server. bought the Synology DS416. It's a four base server, it uses Synology's hybrid RAID technology, but you can also set it to use anything from RAID 0 all the way to RAID 10, depending on what your need is. I chose RAID 5 as that's the most common one. It works best for me, for my needs. All it basically allows you to do is to be able to use four drives at the same time. I've got four three terabyte drives in there, giving me roughly eight, nine terabytes of space. If one drive were to fail, it's not the end of the world because I can literally take it out and replace it with a fresh one and the Synology will automatically copy the file system over to the new fresh drive and I can carry on working and I haven't lost a single thing. How awesome is that? Like just technology, right? I started copying all my work over and it was about five, six terabytes worth of stuff. It took about two days to do, which is quite a long time. It's done now. The next step is to now to set up all my catalogs in Lightroom or in uh, capture one and start actually sorting out the mess that is my server. That's gonna be lovely. Gonna need a lot of coffee for that. But it's done, it's dusted. I've got something that's secure, safe, and I don't need to worry anymore. You can use anything from RAID 0 to RAID 10. RAID 0 being just a single volume span over two drives or multiple drives, making your multiple drives act like one big drive, meaning that if all the information is stored on there and you lose a drive, you're gonna probably lose everything. It's not a safe backup solution. It's meant for non-critical kind of work. Got a scratch drive set up that way. It's probably the best. When you're setting up your server, I'd suggest you take something like RAID 1, maybe 5, maybe 10. The only drawbacks to RAID 1 and 10 is that they use a process called mirroring, which is basically duplicating all the information on one drive to another drive, which means you're effectively 
effectively working with half the storage capacity. So if you've got six terabytes in total, you'll only be able to work on three terabytes. Uh, I've chosen RAID 5, which means that I've got four drives amounting up to about nine terabytes of storage. If one drive fails, there's enough information to be rebuilt on the other drives. I can work off RAID 5 configuration. I can do video editing. It works great. I can go show you a bit of my workflow, how I structure everything. Let's get to it. Let me go show you guys what I've done. Hey guys, so what you see in front of you here is the web interface of the Synology Disk Station DS416. And on your left over here, you'll see a couple of options, which helps with the management of your disk station. Anything from antivirus all the way through to multimedia servers streaming across your home network. Up next, you've got a little tool to help manage your storage and see if all your disk drives are healthy. Next up, if you click on your volume tab, you'll see all your drives being listed below. You'll actually see that my disk 4 is not a 3 terabyte drive like the rest, it's actually a 4 terabyte drive, meaning in my current RAID 5 configuration, I'm losing a terabyte of space. The reason for me doing this was simply because when I bought my drives, they only had 3 to sell me and I had to use a spare 4 terabyte drive to fill in the last slot but I'll just replace the four terabyte drive at a later stage with a three terabyte drive just to match everything up. Right, and up next, we've got my project files folder where I store my admin, like contracts and things, my After Effects project files, my Premiere Pro project files, my main raw project files, and a very disorganized sound library. Right, and up next, you've got my project files folder. Um, where all my projects are listed uh, with subfolders of uh, each file format. So my raw files are located in there. Up next, we've got PSD files located in there and my JPEG for web files located in there. I can actually open one up and preview it on the spot. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out my video. If you enjoyed this content, please press that like button, smash it if you're into that kind of thing. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Uh -huh.